nobody has to like me. Of course. We live in a free country. And nobody doubts that. I think the biggest issue is can we trust anybody? Our government has really shown that if you have a lot of money or power or if you have benefits of others that most people in this country are assholes. They don't care about anybody else. They obviously, if you're in an income bracket higher than others, in this country, individualism teaches you that once you reach that corporate ladder or success, keep going, you know? But I've always had this old-fashioned belief that it takes a village. Call me stupid, call me, you know, naive. Maybe it comes from a background where I didn't have a family to count on. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure. But I've never been the social butterfly. I've never been the popular person. But it's never stopped me from having immense empathy for others. And I'm, I'm not the only one. None of us ask somebody whether you're a Republican or a Democrat when you pull over to the side of the road to see if someone's okay from an accident. Honestly. If you bother to care enough to pull over, you're not asking what their political affiliation is. Let's be honest. So, how much have we really changed? People are upset sad, bitter, they're in mourning, and their pocketbook is suffering. And our leaders are shit. They're not talking to the people, they're not telling people, I feel your pain, I know that something's wrong. Let me talk to you about the information I see and show you what I know. That's what we need. Not filibustering blowhards that constantly point the finger. I'm running for Congress because I'm tired of seeing people suffer. More often than that, I think an oath means something. Whether you say it on a Bible, a Quran, the Constitution, whatever means something to you. When you take an oath, you're promising to do something. All of these people in Congress promised to take an oath to the Constitution. They promised to represent us. I don't care if you think that they're guilty of certain things or not. Every single one of them is dropping that ball. I might be able to come up with one or two that aren't, but almost every single one of them on both sides are dropping that ball. Now, we can argue whether some of them are not doing what's right and maybe they're making some mistakes, but everybody, because I don't see anybody standing outside, uh, you know, explaining what they what others think is fake and what the truth is and showing people the difference and actually listening to the people that can't feed their kids every night and don't know how to pay the insurance on their house the chaos is real to the american people and it doesn't seem like there's anybody out there trying to referee it I'm running for Congress for several reasons. One, I have a real hard on for justice. And I'm tired of people breaking laws that would have put anybody, any one of us, in prison 
for a long time. They should not get away with anything that we don't. We should stand on that principle. I'm running for Congress to represent three quarters of a million people. And you can go to my website, KimberlyPhelan.com, and see the actual issues that I care about. Yes, there's there only is some general information, but message me and ask me. I will give you full details. I have heart, I have guts, and anybody that's heard me argue will tell you, unless you can prove me wrong, I will stick to my guns about what I say. But here's my issue. While the people in my district need me, the American people need me to stand up for what's right, There's a lot of people who have no faith in my district. They've gone too long without proper representation. And I'm having a hard time getting my voice out. And I come from humble means. I shouldn't have to be embarrassed to tell people that I've spent my whole life taking care of others. And that means that I don't have a lot of money for myself and my family. I come from a disabled household. I come from a background of a veteran household. And I've been independent and on my own since I was 18. So I don't have a family to count on for money or rich or wealthy friends to do get donations from. So I'm asking if you've got five bucks to help my campaign. Donate in Act Blue. If you don't trust Act Blue, you can send me five bucks in cash app, whatever you want to do. But I need to make some business cards. I need to get my voice out there. I need to do some advertising. And I've got zero right now. I'm a 401c3 cleared FEC and you can look my name up and see that I'm actually a candidate in the House. But I would be lying if I said that we don't need some money to fight back against the other side. And while my opponent is a vet and I absolutely honor his service, he's done nothing for vets in our district. And we have vets that need help. We have people that need decent representation. And even as a candidate for the House in D.C., we need leadership to push the people in our state and our government to do the right thing. The links will be here in my video. If you can help, that's wonderful. And if you can't, we're all struggling here. I love America. I love my country. And it's my duty as an American to question everything that's not right. And my vets fought for that ability for me to question. Thank you for listening. Have a very Merry Christmas. God bless. Take care.